Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today it's time to test my new winter tires, consumption test. So I got those winter tires yesterday, yes, and they weren't my first choice. I will film them at daylight too, but you know, they're black. <laughs> it's the 19 inch black Loen. What I wanted though was the Andoya 19 inch the same that I had summer tires, so the winter version. And you need the winter version because the summer version doesn't have a special coating. If salt gets into cracks or something, then they might, you know, fall apart and you don't want that. And, uh, but they weren't available. They are available in the end of December and that's too late for me because it can snow any day and it should snow next week. And when it's cold too, you need winter tires. It's just how it is. Continental, 850 something and it's the same the same tire size uh, uh, 250 and 50 R1993T as the summer tire so it's the exact same thing so far I haven't noticed any difference <coughs> I accelerated in sport mode fully in standstill and no spinning wheels I noticed that out of a corner if you give him full power then you get the spinning wheel symbol and then you get full power when you're on the straight. But I think I never did that with the summer tires as well. That's a new thing I'm doing these days, driving a bit more sporty in the corner and stuff like this. <laughs> so I don't know. But what I will be doing, um, first I take uh, the ID3 on my normal Rakobi test route. And today I will try to do the normal route, 59.9 kilometers, not like last time where I drove too far. Drive with 93 kilometers an hour, GPS speed 90 without the heat because uh, today it's I think eight and a half degrees or even eight it's not that cold um, so I'm in the middle between my first Rokobi test where it was 13 degrees or 12 I can't remember um, I put it in here and last week where it was two degrees or lower so more consumption just because of temperature so not heat just because of temperature and I will do this test like I said without heat I freeze my ass off for you <laughs> and then I do it with 21 degrees eco on me and then I will do it in 24 degrees and then we'll drive full power <laughs> so 165 because that's fun let's see how it is how the consumption is in the winter with winter tires at top speed and heat cranked and everything let's go I did the same thing last week, but just with the summer tires. Driving 93, uh, I have it, the car in D, not in B, but I don't think it does any difference. And uh, the consumption right now, of course, is way too early. We just drove six kilometers, but so you can see, heat is off it's on low and fan on one so it won't be heating it's eight degrees out there i just saw nine so it changes a lot i don't know if it's the temperature sensor or it's really changing the temperature out there so nine eight i saw 11 then eight and nine it just jumps around a bit it's okay seat heater is off too i'm listening to a bit of music not copyright free <laughs> um yes so I will do my normal route. Hopefully I don't miss my exit. And then it should be 59.9. It would be also interesting to see on a trip meter. I didn't reset the other trip because, so this one here, I should reset this the next, next trip I do because this has 100 meters more accuracy. And with the summer tires ahead on this stretch. No, I never drove that one. I don't even know. I only drove the long one. But I know it was one, one and a half percent off, something like this. And I, I don't think this will be any different since this is the exact same tire size. They do look smaller, though, when I look at them. But it, it's most likely because they're totally black and the other one was silver black. And I didn't go for the silver ones, by the way. Uh, because I saw them and they look cheap. I don't know, they are not cheap, but they look cheap and the black ones look a bit better. But 
again, I would have preferred the same one as the summer. But they're my tires now, they're not with leasing, so I, I will sell them and I will only use them for two winters. Am I right? Three years? No, three winters. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> I just turned around and for the people who don't know what the Rokobi test route is, I start and end at the exact same spot. I have to, uh, I drive in one direction on the highway, then turn around and then because the Ionity charger is in a highway gas station, I have to turn around again to get to, get to the same starting point at the end. Um, consumption right now, it's lower than last week where it was two degrees. But uh, uh, the temperature was at 7.5, then it was at 8, and now 8.5, it changes around. Um, I'm on the half mark. Climate is still off, of course. Um, so it's, it's on, but on low and fan one. And I forgot, uh, I'm driving in eco. Again, I don't think that does any difference since I'm not accelerating hard or doing anything. So I'm driving constant speed, so I really don't think this will affect the consumption. stats exact same consumption like last week but it's five degrees or maybe six degrees warmer today so the winter tires consume more I have to calculate at home how much it is now I will heat up the car <laughs> and do it in my setting like I like to drive And then first I warm up the car and then I do the whole thing again. And then I reset my trip. I want to see how that is. Exactly. And then we will reset in a second. My second run, it's still 8 degrees and now I didn't forget, I reset this trip meter, whatever this is, that has 100 meters. Again with my 93, but now I have to climb it on the settings that I usually have. Feet and, <laughs> feet and window and the middle, sometimes a bit less, but right now I want this. And I have it on 24 degrees, but in eco, so eco means it only heats the area that I'm sitting in. And I have the mode individual, and in the individual I have the air conditioning, hopefully that means heating too, on eco, so it doesn't use that much for heat. I hope that's true. <laughs> we'll see in the end. I can't, see, I can't say right now, it's just too early. And I have the seat heater on too. That's what I, this is my setting that I have for driving to work uh, in the morning when it's cold, when it's seven degrees now. And, and I just noticed at 22, and, and it, just with this car, but on 22 degrees I'm driving and it's okay and at some point it gets cold and so I turn it up a bit and, I, and then just driving this car for two months. Oh, that was a few days ago that I have the car for two months, totally forgot. That's true, today's the 14th, so three days ago uh, I had it for two months. 
Uh, I just noticed that 24 degrees is my, <laughs> my, my temperature in the car in eco and when my wife is driving with me in, 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 to work in the morning then she has 24 degrees as well and the seat heater on and uh, it doesn't get too warm but it's only 30 minutes so maybe on a long trip together I would uh, turn down my temperature on my side I don't know I, can, I couldn't say but like I said 24 is my thing and we'll see what the consumption is in the end that's more for me I think I want to know how much more consumption it is just with driving in my settings. I turned around again and my consumption so far 169 that's okay but what is it a 1.5 kilowatt more well you know what I mean <laughs> so 15 watt hours per kilometer more so far um, I had to I turned the, the seat heater down from 2 to 1 I do that usually to work too the beginning three, then two, then one, but it's still on 24 degrees and an eco, um, 30 kilometers to go in the middle. And I have it yeah, still at 93 kilometers. And I just checked again with GPS speed, even with the winter tires. When I drive 92, it jumps to GPS speed 89, 90, around that. And at 93, it's 90, 91. So I prefer to use that one. And I don't totally forgot before, so the round I did before was a perfect round when it comes to speed. I didn't have to slow down or accelerate at all. It just was perfect. And this time too, it worked perfect, except for when I did the tiny little test for 10 seconds GPS speed test. So I went down to 92 and then went up to 93. That was it, so no difference. So. That's, that's awesome when, when I don't have to change speeds. <laughs> Hundred and seventy-four, eighty-six kilometers. That's, that's all good. That's, and by the way, at the twenty-three, I just turned it down a minute ago. And look at my thing, fifty-nine point nine. That's spot on. In the summer, this was not correct. How? What the hell? This is spot on. This is exactly what Google Maps says it should be. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, where was I? There was I. But good average speed, again, I didn't have to slow down anything. It was just perfect. Right now the heat doesn't take anything, so it's warm enough in here. I will charge a bit now to, I don't know, 120, 130 kilometers of range. And then I do the same stretch, top speed with my heat, my setting, like I like it. <laughs> now it's one kilowatt hours, and two kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. Maybe the heat turned on. Um, but I will not come back here. I will go to the other side. Ionity because this is then when I go back home this is like 15 kilometers more and that's annoying and this is just for fun this is not a test like I said I do it, what, what will it be then 55 kilometers or so 52 we'll see but top speed fun Sixty-four. 
consumption is going down because it start, started at 70 or something, also 700 watt hours per kilometer, but it's only a few kilometers. This will go down. I'm expecting 35 or 36, so 360. Let's go a bit. Seat heater I, I don't need anymore. I'm still on individual, so driving is in comfort, but heating is in eco. I have it on 23 degrees. Right now it's fine, so and if I'm cold, I turn it up. Just turn around, still doing my 164. It doesn't go over that, I've seen that. I got battery warning at 22%. In the old software, I have 0570, and in 0564, the warning came at exactly 20%. That's our consumption right now. It went down when I turned around, of course. And now it's going back up. I still have 23 kilometers to go, 40 kilometers of range, <laughs> and it's going down. We'll see if I can make it. <laughs> if not, I just slow down. That's okay. I arrived. Good uh, average speed, um, 54 kilometers. What does it say here? If so that's 54.4. No, no, I need the light. Um, and look at my average consumption. It was a bit higher in the middle, 35.5. I had to slow down for one truck uh, that didn't... Uh, that, that was just overtaking a different truck. But that was cool. <laughs> I like that. That was a lot of fun. But now I will charge a bit, uh, down to 4%, 7 kilometers of range. <laughs> I had 125 before, but this gasometer, this was about uh, the, the driving at 93 kilometers. And so, oh, have to turn the GoPro off. GoPro, turn off. Works. <laughs> it's nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I will charge. And I have to turn that off. Uh, and what I can say about those winter tires now, um, I don't feel any less comfort um, and I don't hear more noise. At, at 164, it, of course it's louder than at 90 or 130, but it wasn't horrible noise and I don't think it was different than the other one, maybe, maybe than my summer tires, but maybe you hear it differently. Um, but that's it for me tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.